What's up everybody, Jason Boone here from premiumbeat.com. Today I'm going to teach you all about the power of metadata and how it can help you stay organized and streamline your workflow in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get started. So first of all, what is metadata? Well, metadata is descriptive information about a file. Now, both video and audio files already contain a certain amount of basic metadata information, such as the file name, the type, the size, the path, location on your hard drive, the date, and the media duration. And you can add metadata information to clips using Premiere Pro's metadata panel. Now, if you work with a lot of media assets or you work with a group of other editors or both, metadata can really help you out immensely. By adding information to video and audio assets, you can quickly and easily find the information at a later date with a simple keyword search. So let's take a closer look at how to use metadata in Premiere Pro. Now to work with metadata, we need to simply open the metadata panel, which if you go to window and select metadata, it will launch the proper panel. Now, if you wanna work in a metadata or meta logging workspace, Premiere has a default workspace already set up. So go to Window, Workspaces, and you'll find a meta logging preset right here. You select that, you can see if you're doing some serious metadata or meta logging, you can use this workspace to your benefit. And I'm not gonna use this, so I'm gonna keep our standard workspace here. I'm gonna go back and select Editing. So now that we have the metadata panel opened up, you're going to notice a few things. We have three main sections here. I'm only going to focus on the top two here, clip and file. Now clip and file metadata are slightly different. Now let's take a look. If I select a clip here, that'll populate our metadata information here. First, let's look at clip. So clip metadata is specific to your Premiere Pro project. It's going to show you all the metadata, and if you add any information here, which it looks like I already added a, a clip here, or uh, some text here. But if you add any kind of text in any of these fields under the clip metadata section, it's going to only save it within your Premiere Pro project file. So it's Premiere Pro specific. Let me close this. Now the difference here, if we look at file, let's open up file. And you're going to see there's a few different things here. Let's open up some of this. Now file metadata is different from clip metadata and the fact that anything you add here is going to save it in what they call XMP. So what this does is that saves your metadata information to the actual source file. So when you open up that source file in a different application, you're going to be able to see that metadata with, with whatever application you're using as long as it reads XMP data. So what is XMP? Well, XMP stands for Extensible Metadata Platform. So not to get too technical here, this is simply a standard which allows you to use metadata between these different applications and allows the applications to read the metadata. And for the most part, XMP data is stored in your source file, as I said before. But sometimes you have file formats that don't support XMP, and what will happen there is the, there will be a side, what they call a sidecar file, which is a file with the same name, but just a different extension, like for instance, .xmp. So if you look back here under file metadata, we have a couple of different sections here. There's three different ones. These are called schemas. And what a schema is, is basically a group of properties or metadata properties that are specific to a certain kind of workflow. And you can really customize these to your liking. And if you want to customize them, you can go up to the metadata panel menu here and select metadata display. That's going to launch your metadata display dialog box. And if you look here, there's just a crazy, crazy number of schemas here that we can add and even customize. We could even drop down our basic and take away certain properties if we'd like, really, really customize it. And then even on top of this, we can add properties and create our own metadata display, even save out a custom setting or a, a custom schema, but we're not gonna do all that. We'll just add a couple of different things here. I'll close this, see if there's anything that we really need here. Let's just add one other thing. Let's add like a Photoshop. Say so we have some Photoshop files in there. And if I just mouse over, it's going to give you some information about each schema. The schema it specifies properties used by Adobe Photoshop. We have rights management, media management. So again, there's just there's a lot to choose from depending on the kind of project you're working on will allow you to really customize your metadata display. So if we click OK, now if we look under the file section here, you can see it added our metadata information, which we can go through 
and adjust accordingly. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add some metadata to a few clips, and then I will show you how you can search those clips using that metadata information. So let's say we had, uh, you know, we had a shoot at Las Vegas Motor Speedway here. We have a bunch of clips that were shot by two different videographers. So let's say we just imported all this in, and we want to go in and add the name of the videographers to each clip, so that later on when a, a producer comes in and say says something like, hey, I need all of the clips that you shot, um, like he'll come to me specifically and say, hey, Boone, I need all of your clips, blah, 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 or I need all the, I need all the angles, because, you know, let's say I was in the middle of the racetrack, and he says, I need all the, you know, angles of that clip, or of that camera where you were at. So I can go through, and let's say it was just a few specific shots here that were my specific clip. So if we go into Dublin Core here, Dublin Core, I can just go through and add my name under the contributor section. Let's see, eight, nine, and I'm kind of doing this. There's no specific, you know, I'm just saying that I did a couple of clips here to show you how the filtering is going to work out. I didn't actually shoot these specific clips. Okay, so I added to, like you saw clip eight, nine, and one I added my name to. So now let's say there's another videographer here that shot uh, 14, 15, and 16, and his name is Brian. 14, 15, and let's say like the last clip. Way down here. There's Brian. Okay, so now, the way we can search this is if you look over here in our project panel, we can click over here, and then if I just type in Brian, it's going to immediately filter out, and it says right here in parentheses filtered, and it's showing us those three clips that we added the metadata information um, with Brian's name, and if I cycle through them here, you'll look in the metadata panel, it's bringing that information up. So I can X that out, and then type in my name. And then, yeah, there it is. It says filtered, and it's got the one, clip one, eight, and nine. So you can see, if I were to add a plethora of all kinds of different metadata information, it makes this very searchable by all these different keywords. And this is a great job for, like, say, an intern or something. But you would want to use that metalogging workspace at the beginning. As soon as you import your clips in and you name them, you can go through and type in a bunch of metadata information, which if you do the work up front, it's going to make your editing job much more streamlined and easy. And the last thing I want to show you is within the project panel here. I'm going to go ahead and full screen this project panel. Now if you look over here, as I showed you before, there are these columns which are the metadata display columns. And again, we can customize this. So if I go up to the panel here and select metadata display, just as within the metadata uh, panel, it'll bring up the same dialog box. And then whatever properties and schemas I select here, it's going to add these as columns. And then I can even, again, save out a custom metadata display for my project panel which again, I could, I could take everything out of here and just have my contributor or videographer column. So then we could automatically, we don't even have to do a keyword search. We can just uh, search by this column and arrange by alphabetical by that column. I mean, the possibilities are, are really endless. So again, if you're working with a lot of editors or you're working with a lot of assets, metadata can be a really powerful and, and just a great tool for your team. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and be sure to check out Premium Beat for high quality, royalty free music and sound effects for all of your media and video projects.